That she was, she went to the bazaar, but which she was not able to buy anything. All those things. Next question. Do some light on Sidhya's character. Who has written this answer? Have you written this answer? Yes, ma'am. When she was a 20 years old, she lived in the city of the forest. She was a very good friend. Is this character? Yes. Character means just talk about Sylvia? Yes. 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 Ah, but you read one answer. Now, have you written? No. You have written? Have you written? Let's take it. Character. You read one answer, no, already. Have you written? No. You have written? No. You have not done your homework at all. But this answer you have not done. You have written? Three. She was a 12 year old girl. She lived in the vicinity of the forest. She belonged to a very poor family due to which she owns no materialistic position. She cherishes the dream of having made for making necklaces 
Beta is this character. You are talking about Sibia. Tell about Sibia and tell about Sibia's character. Is there any difference between these two things? Okay, what have you written, Beta? So basically, in a character sketch, we want to give five adjectives. To answer any character sketch, this is how you have to go about. What five characters do we get for adjectives? Do we get for Sibia? Hmm? Adjective. She was courageous. Courageous. Observant, Now you are saying she is brave. What is your reason for saying so? Not that she saved the woman from the mother. She may have not been able to save. She may have not been able to save the lady. She was scared. She wasn't scared. She uh, ran like a what is it? Mountain goat. Yeah. So it shows super bravery, you know? She wasn't scared. So you get the reason here. Second character. Cautious. Cautious. One minute. Cautious. Because uh, when she was like going back to home, on the, so she was like really, uh, taking the cautious of like stepping on the rock. She did it pretty naturally, mechanically actually. So not that. What are you determining? Uh, and determining of me and her mother determined why? Uh, because uh, she was uh, she had started for the toiling her right from the childhood, so she knew uh, out of choice or because her mother told her other. Yeah, out so of choice. So how did it? Some very laborious. laborious. Out of choice or not, it's obligated to get her. Out of choice? Forced to survive, she was forced. So that's not character. What else? Like this, you have to develop the character of almost all the characters that feature in all the chapters of the text. No one has joined us today online. What is the name of the child who joined us online? Shri. Sushil. Shri. 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 is coming. So, what are the adjectives for Sibia are we getting? Hardworking. Hardworking. What is the name of the child? What is the name of the child? That is not out of choice, so it is not a part of the character. But still, she is doing the work. How helping? I am mean, like, uh, she had to help her mother. Had to. So that is not character. I mean, but uh, when she saved that girl, it was on her choice, right? Yeah. So brave. But, uh, so brave. Since the child comes to be the. Yes. 
What else? What did she observe? Getting the general idea? Now will you be able to develop your answer? Huh? So it is all coming in the form of a paragraph. You will not write like this, one, two, three, four, five. In the form of a paragraph. These are your notes to prepare your answer. This is not your answer. You have to elaborate this and present it like two paragraphs. This is, this is. But they are writing this answer. In the starting, you have to introduce so you give one line of introduction about Sibia, then you start about her personality traits and give reason for why you are attributing it to this person. That's how any character sketch is done. Throw light on anybody's character. It can be Sibia's mother. Then we have different uh, distinct. You have the little match girl. What about the little girl? What about her father? What about her grandmother? We have character sketch for all of them. What are the other chapters you have? Cage books. Not books. Chapters. Migrators, Olympics, and the Muni. Muni. Muni's character sketch, his wife's character sketch, the foreigner's character sketch. Which are the other chapters? Migrators, Olympics, and the yeah, I am so, one line of introduction. You know, whatever is most prominent thing you can say. Just say nine. You have to say that she was physically disabled because that is an important part of her. She has a satisfied face. No. You mentioned the bazaar. She is fascinated by all those things. Yes. Whatever the mother said, she even climbed that much. Next question. Practice how the you feel is a tale of triumph of human rights. Human courage. Who has written this answer? One. Only one child has written this answer. Two. Who else has written this answer? You want to read out your answer? Yes. The story that is the extraordinary power of human will. The VR very world well was not afraid of the giant crocodile who could kill her in one slap of her tail. She drives the head. By one slap of her tail. It's yes. not even his. She, she, she courageously drives the head for killing the crocodile's eye with all her might and helps the woman. Oh, the uh, the woman go back to the uh, Gujar and Lamp. Gujar and Lamp and Again? That's it? So, you so it is a time. Uh, uh, no, so you've written the incidents, you've not. Uh, 
of all liberal. Any word you want to understand, please raise your hand. Hunt claims through this poem that true worship is manifest through the acts of love and service that one shows one's fellow men and women. Set in a Middle Eastern country, we have a glimpse of the life of a godly man who is visited by a divine messenger. At first, Ben Adam is disappointed to learn that his name is not among those who love God. So this poem has a story to it. He then asks his angelic visitor to at least include his name among those who love other people. The next night, the visitor returns and shows Ben Adam the names of all the people who have been blessed by God. Ben Adam is delighted that he should not be there. Delighted to see his name heading the list. So anyone who understood the story? They want the people who love God, but then the Ben Adam he suggested to even add the people who love other people. So he gets added. No, no, not he gets added in that. So Abu Ben Adam is sleeping, and he sees a bright light in his room. So he notices that there is an angel who has come to visit him, and he is holding a golden book. So he says, "What book is this?" So the angel says, this is a book that contains the names of people who love God the most. People who love God the most. So Abhivan Adhan asks, he's a good man actually. So he asks, is my name there? He says, no, your name is not there. So he says, uh, but uh, can you include my name in the book? which is the list of people who love other people because I am always very helpful to other people. So can you include my name in that book? Anyway, the angel goes away. Next night, the angel comes again and he is again holding a golden book. And Ogwen Adam asks him that, uh, what book is this? And he said, this is the name of people who God loves the most. You understood the difference between the two books? So the second night, it was a golden book of a list of names whom God loves the most. Previous night, his name was not there in the list. So today he asks him, is my name there in the list? He says, it's on top of the list. That is where the poem ends. Now it is for the reader to understand that in the list of people who love God, Abu Ben Adam's name was not even there. But in the list of people whom God loved, he was on top of the list. So, is there lot of influences in the poet case? Firstly, he says God does not love that person the most who loves him the most. If I love God the most, that doesn't mean that God loves me the most. He doesn't love those people the most who love him. He loves those people the most who love, love humans, other humans. So if you want to claim to be a religious man, if you want to claim to be a good man, you don't have to do puja aarti in the temple. No, you need to help the needy. Then God will love you the most. This is the poem. Clear? Hmm? We'll read the poem once. At that time, you can underline any word that you find difficult. Then we will start discussing the word meanings. Abu Ben Adam made his tribe in place, awoke one night from a deep dream of peace and saw within the moonlight in his room, making it rich and like a lady in bloom. An angel writing 
in a book of gold, exceeding peace had made Ben Adam gold. I know the presence in the room, he said, what writest thou? The vision raised its head. And with a look made of all sweet accord, answered the names of those who love the Lord. And is my one? asked Abu. Nay, not so, replied the angel. Abu spoke more low, but cheerily still, and said, I pray thee then, write me as one that loves his fellow men. The angel wrote and vanished. The next night, he came again with a great wakening light and showed the names whom love of God had blessed and lo, Ben Adam's name led all the rest. So there's a lot of old English here. I'm guessing that you are understanding those words. Nonetheless, Abu Ben Adam may his strive in peace. Meaning, may there be more men like Abu Ben Adam in this world. Writing as a book. Writing as a book. What are you writing? 
exceeding peas had made them and them bold. Bold enough to do what? To ask. To ask whom? And to the presence in the room, he says, who is the he over here? What writers thou? In simple English, what will it be? The vision raised its head. Now, I want you to notice that at one point of time, it is an angel. In another line, it is the presence. In another line, it is the vision. And with a look made of all sweet accord. Sweet accord means sweetness and kindness towards the other person. Very peaceful. Because he is not guilty of anything, he is extremely peaceful with himself. Therefore, he was bold enough to question the angel. What are you like? No, no, in his life. Like he is, because he is not guilty of anything. So he is not that tense character. He is peaceful with himself because he is walking on the path of law. So almost same the character. The vision raised its head and with a look made of all sweet accord, answered the names of those who love the Lord. And is mine one? Asked Abu. Nay, not so. Replied the angel. Abu spoke more low. Why would Abu's voice become lower after listening to the angel? He is disappointed. He is disappointed. He is sad. That's why he is speaking in a low voice. But cheerily still. He is disappointed but not angry. He is a good natured person. And said, I pray thee then. What would be the translation for this? I request, I request you. Write me as one that loves his fellow men. Fellow men means God. Oh, his people. Other humans. Other humans. Fellow. Fellow means Sati. That means the one who he knows. Blessed. 
you like SSC test? Now, in the answer, they uh, some questions are there uh, saying like, what did you say after you? Yes. Come up to be able to write the exact words. Or can we just put it in the That was, of course, acceptable. Paraphrase is also acceptable because unless it is a seen passage, we are not expected to make it a And low, over here, low is like an exclamation of wow. Then add this name, lead all the rest. Lead all the rest means it was on the top of the list. Now in the fourth line, it is written making it rich. And what is the three letter? The room. And the light. Because I know the light is making up the room. The question asked me why the first eight and then the present is the picture. And why is it written like that? The poet is calling the angel a vision of presence. He is calling it by different names. What he means to say is uh, God's messenger. By the way, Abu Ben Adam, written by Leigh Hunt, he dreamt of the poem in his in his dream, and then he immediately got up and wrote it. The poem it is very long poem. We just given a little part is given to you. It's actually a very long poem. Abu, Abu itself is such a common name. It is like you know, Joe, John, Jill. These are when when you say Jane Doe. These are the common names. Why does it say Jane Doe? Jane Doe is the name given to any patient whose name you don't know. So I was in that show and everyone is Jane Doe, Jane Doe. So that is uh, medically accepted as you know, okay, uh, when we don't know the name of the patient, there was no identity. Then you have to fill up something, no? So you write Jane Doe. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, some uh, identification is there on the person who's got driving license or mobile or that. After he's grown up, there are some like people with the pockets. Yeah, then you don't have identity. <laughs> but uh, I am thinking that technology will come. Wherein uh, you take my finger and put it on that device, and that device will say everything about me, my name, my address, my mobile number. So, yes, so uh, this database has to be developed. So, I think technology will reach a place where whether the person is dead, who dead body will be, who is dead body will be, accident will be. So, you just take your finger, right hand finger, which should be universally decided. So, Technology is very soon. Yeah. 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 For instance, It's a fictitious character, is what I'm saying. But Abu can be a name of any person. It is a very common name. Page number 
Who would like to read? Who would like to read page number 152? Yes, with a start. Yes. Right today's date on top 152. <laughs> It's an inspirational poem in the form of a parable. It narrates an incident to elaborate the truth that the love for humanity is the best form of worship to God. The story is about Abu Ben Adam was sleeping in a peaceful way one night when he was suddenly awakened by bright light. The moonlight seemed to spread across his room like a flower in bloom. In that light, he saw an angel sitting and writing something in golden book. Abab expectantly asked the angel what he was writing, to which the angel replied that he was making the list of names of people who love the Lord. Abu further ventured to ask if his name was in the list. To this angel replied in the negative. Abu was shocked but not disturbed. He requested the angel to include his name in the list of people who love their fellow mm -hmm. members. What did you mean? Homecast. If you were that interested in looking at the book where it is being read, you should have known it. Yeah. Yeah. Shall, shall, shall we continue? The angel did so and uh, disappeared. The next night, the light in Abu's room was more dazzling as the angel reappeared. The angel showed Abu a list of names of people who were blessed by the Lord. Abu discovered to his surprise that his name was written on the top of the list. In that way. In that way. Critical appreciation. Title. The title of the poem is appropriate. The poem is about Abu Ben Adam and his virtuous life. It extols the virtues of Abu who loved his fellow human beings and did everything to help them and to alleviate their lives. Thus, he won the highest honor in history. Yes, yes, yes. Virtues that extols the virtues of Abu who loved his fellow human beings. Ben Adam and his virtuous wife. Then uh, it exposes the virtues of Abu who loved his fellow human beings and did everything to help them and to alleviate them. Highlights can be correct. Alleviate means lift up, make it better. Expose means highlight. To pronounce, to Clear emphasis on. Miss, can you repeat? Extol means to uh, give emphasis to, to highlight. Okay, Miss. And the word under it, alleviate, means to take it to a higher level, to make it better, to improvise. Yes, Any other doubts up to here? No. Okay. The poem as universal appeal as the norm model it delivers is not restricted to any religion, any one religion. All religions teach us that serving fellow humans is a key to serving God and blessed are the people who can follow this practice in life. 
Like most religious poems, parables, and fables, the poem is like a story with the moral impact. So here, what the explanation is coming out is now suppose there is a tsunami or an earthquake, some natural calamity. Okay. Now there is this one person who is sitting in his house and preparing lattoos as prasad for God and lighting the agarbati and the diya and doing prayer from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the night. Three hours. And there is this other person who has tried to cook some khichdi, put it in some uh, dispensing uh, this thing, and gone out and those people whose houses are broken, he's giving them this food so that they can eat food. They must have not eaten since the previous night. The bhat food they have to pay. They go to the restaurant, they go to the they go. Whom do you think God is going to love more? The person who is helping the other person. Who is helping the other person? Yes, Vita. Each of the poets, love for mankind. The poem is exemplifies that two servants of God are those who love mankind. The people who serve fellow beings are the ones who receive the blessings of God. Those who don't do so are also shunned by God. To do a small incident in a whose life, the poet shows that those who selflessly serve fellow men are the ones who receive God's blessings. Second, love of God. The poem is a celebration of idealistic human emotions. True devotion to God implies serving mankind. And Abu Ben Adam followed this simple maxim in life. Thus, the arm came on the top of the list of those who people are blessed by the law. Even though his name did not feature in the list of those who love God. Page is over. Literary devices. Similarly, aren't like or really in the list. One minute. Underline this line and mark it as a simile. Like the lily one. Read further. Love the Lord. Simple. The book of gold symbolizes the richness when one has comforts God and heavenly objects. It is the richness of the spirit. The meaning of life symbolizes. They mean I symbolize the universe all the self of the gifts or redness of the presence of God. Page is over? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Who would like to read the next page? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, uh, the vocabulary. Yeah. Okay. Start writing the meaning of shun. Shuns? Push it. 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 Not appreciate the word of the name 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 Let's take a break and come back.
punya Thank you. 
Shishti, have you opened the page with us? Yes, miss. Thank you. 
Ego mental knows about each of the conversation is called. What is the semicolon? What is the colon? What is an apostrophe? And see where they are used and where they are not used. Especially see the capitalization. Where the capitalization has to come, not come. These things, I don't think the school teacher will get into this much detail. Is the form part or the textual part? Point C to separate the participle phrase. Is all that matter? So, like turning to the right, like a tag, you know? so it will be followed by a comma. So instead of saying he went for a swim because he was feeling so hot at home, when you say feeling hot at home, he went for a swim. So feeling hot at home, comma, he went for a swim. Participle phrase.
credit cards, comma, wallets and money. So you think it will be he lost, comma, you can read that you are going to say he lost his ticket, credit cards. Tickets ke baad pause aare na, but he lost his, postal cards ni aare na, you know, say he lost his tickets, credit cards, that way. So reading ke isap se, aapko pause ni pause. Yeah. Hmm, I thought so. No, no, there's a question. There's a question on one question. Yeah, on the What is the format for the last Yes. To check the net is better, na? That is posted by the ICAC board. Huh? And they are reading the question paper and the solution set with the key points for marking. Better to go through that. And that the books, and that the books don't generally print because it's already there on the net. But that's something very authentic. That is what we follow as a We will discuss all, but after everything is done, we will not discuss fourth one now, then first one after half an hour. As a half has a come up there. Will you solve the answer? So for each of the sentence, I wanted to write how many changes are there. And then you should be able to tell me which are the changes. We're waiting for everyone to finish. 
So per sentence, you should be able to first tell me how many changes are there. How many? And then which ones? What ask me? So against each sentence, you should have a number. When I ask you, then don't start counting. How many have finished? Only how many has finished? How many are still doing? First one, how many changes are there? Three. What are the three changes? Capital. Capital. J. And question. I don't know where John lives in the question. Second one, how many changes? Which are the two changes? Capital P and the first one. Third sentence, or the two? Yeah, the P. And four now. Four and four. And four. Oh, wait, no. That is 
No, after buy there is no semicolon. It will be a colon. Uh -huh. Nothing I modified. Nothing. Among one, followed by. Nothing. From the read it, please. After the read it, please. Why semicolon? Nothing. No, not for Who wants to attend this answer? Third. No, I'm idle. Okay. <laughs> Doctor S. First off, Dhani is a highly qualified comma. His name is followed by V. Dot S. C. Dot comma M. Dot E. Dot P. Dot S. Dot comma M. Dot E. First off. Okay. So much talking. Shall, I, shall we move on to the fourth question? How many changes? How many changes? How many changes? How many changes? Reverend. Give me a number. Give me a number. Six is wrong. Seven, eight, seven is correct. Say the answer wrong. Okay. 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 Then after Rev, one two twelve. Then after Rev, one two twelve. Then after J, one two twelve. Then after J, one two twelve. J, J, J. 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 J, 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 no, 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 Six point is left. So you got seven points? Yes. Okay. Amma is giving the answer. Please pay attention, children. Don't make me repeat. Yes, Amma. R dot T dot wrong. You have tried. You have tried. You have tried. Shan T. R already capital left. T T T T H. Yes, ma'am. That is a You want to try? No. You? How much is that? How much is that? Before this, you gave more. Then you want to try? Huh? You don't know. Can you do it? Yeah, I got seven. Mom, I got seven. Oh, no.
You have skipped some part of the sentence, so don't do that. <laughs> huh? You start from the beginning, you go slow, and let us verify what you are saying. We don't have your book in front of us. We have our own book. We've done our own thing. What is it that you have done without skipping any part of the sentence? Bolo. Oh, you've not put a dot after P. Yes, then. Prego is the parish priest of Anthony, parish, parish, P. Cassidel, and Anthony is a Not yet written the word meaning. Yes, yes, ma'am. Meaning is that 